Okay, now we're joined by head coach Phil Neville. We'll get started with opening remarks. Well, we're massively disappointed. I'm disappointed with the performance. Uh, I thought the first half was unacceptable, unacceptable. And uh, yeah, you, you complain about the pitch, but the pitch was the same for both sides. Uh, I think there's a real lack of quality. There was a lack of, uh, you know, I, I thought what we looked nervous for the first time. I thought we looked nervous for the first time and, and it's something that we've been really stressing about and trying to enjoy this moment, the challenge ahead of us. So that's a big challenge for us now is to, is to make sure that the uh, we've got to release those shackles and not think too much uh, because it's we're getting to that point when we can't, we can't afford any more losses. And, uh, you know, I felt, I felt we didn't, uh, we probably didn't deserve anything from the game. Uh, maybe when we got to, 2-1, I was thinking, you know, when we got to 2-0, I was thinking about Montreal and Columbus last night, about staying in the game and getting one goal. Uh, we got that goal and then and then we gave a crazy goal away after that. And uh, and but well, I, I didn't feel as if we deserved anything from the game. And, and we've got to we've got to we've got to accept that. Sometimes you've got to take accountability for that. I will, and so will the players. And uh, and we've got to make sure that we're ready for Tuesday. We'll get started with questions first with Franco here in the room, then Michelle. Well, I, I, I felt as if we, uh, uh, because we didn't get much control, it made us nervous. Uh, you know, these players so desperately want to do well, so desperately want to do well, and and they know what's in front of them, they know what they have to do, and and sometimes that weighs heavy on you, and, and we've got to make sure now that that it doesn't. Uh, we we we've hit a bad run at the wrong time, and and that's not good at this point in the season. So uh, you know, I think I think we've got to remain balanced. We've got to think about the next five games. We know there's loads of points to play for. We know it's the team that recovers emotionally and physically and mentally from these setbacks that's going to be successful. Other teams are losing, not just us. Uh, and it's about the team that keeps their nerve. And we know it's probably going to go down to the last three or four games. And But but what I really want, forgetting, forgetting challenging for the playoffs, forgetting challenging for whatever, I, there's a level of performance that, that's acceptable. And, and I felt in the first half that was unacceptable from us. And uh, and and we've got to we've got to learn very quickly, and we've got to be better very quickly because we're playing uh, an outstanding team in Columbus on Tuesday. Next question, Michelle. Then Mike. Uh, Phil, what's the team's mood right now? Three three losses in a row on the road. Um, do you still feel the team had so much energy? You know, it seemed like August was such a good month for you guys, and now there's been that that dip that you're talking about. How do you sense? the team mood and and did you have any feeling going into this game that 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 it was going to be kind of a sloppy performance or did you feel like they were sharp no i you know i always have a good feeling about this group because they are so together uh i know so i know how desperately they want to be successful i know how together they are and i know the spirit is great what i will say is that they are hurting like mad they so because of they so desperately want to win sometimes you can want that too much and you've just got to relax before the game my team talk was about composure, discipline, uh, uh, showing your quality, enjoying the challenge that's ahead of us. You can, you can look at the league table and you can either be fearful or enjoy it. And, you, and we've got to be able to enjoy this moment. We, we, we've only got two or three players that have been in this situation before. Pozuelo, Gonzalo, uh, maybe are, are the ones that have got the experience and they have to lead in this, in this type of situation. And uh, we've got a young team that has to learn very quick because we're running out of time. The clock's ticking. And uh, I didn't get a good feeling. They trained well. Did they trained well during the week? And uh, you know, you come here, you, you play. You're probably playing on a pitch that's unacceptable for for you know in, to, in terms of playing, and, and they know that. But it was the same for both sides. Uh, I thought we maybe could have had a couple of penalties, but but that's that. I'll have to look at that. Uh, but I, my, my over, overriding feeling is we didn't deserve anything from the game, so I'm not going to make any excuses. It, it, it was unacceptable from what I saw. Can I ask a follow up, or we'll yeah. go we'll go to Mike and then we'll go back to you, Michelle. Okay, thank you, Mike. Thank you, Rafa. Phil, if I can just follow up a little bit about what you're saying, do you have to instill in the boys now that you know Tuesday Columbus quick turnaround and 
maybe play with a sense of desperation because that's the team you're chasing right now, at least at this point, for the seventh spot. Yeah, well, I think I think there's a couple of things. We, we, we've got to make sure that we, that we now select the right team. I think we've got to get freshness in the team somewhere. I think I think uh, that's at this stage of the season, freshness is key. So so we'll be picking fresher players on Tuesday, <clears throat> players that are, are ready to compete, players that are ready to fight, players that are going to play without any kind of fear. And uh, and there is there is you know I've just said something in the end is that really you know without without really stating the obvious we have to win on Tuesday and and, and that's that's still no different than what was before the game. We, we, we would have had to have won one hour home games to have any chance of getting the playoffs. So, so we shouldn't put any more expectation on us than what there was before the game. We knew before the game, we would have to beat Columbus on Tuesday. So because we'd played Columbus in such, such a small, uh, short space of time, we, we couldn't allow Columbus to take six points off us. So we had to make sure we come out of the two games against Columbus, at least with an equal three points each. So, so that's not changed. And, and I hope the players feel that. I hope the players uh, want that. You know, it's a, it's it's, a, it's an incredibly exciting game on Tuesday. Uh, we're going to need every ounce of energy and support and the fans behind us. You know, we had we had a lot of fans here today and we let them down today. But but it's it's winner takes all. It, it, it's it, every game's a cup final. It feels like every game is a knockout competition now. So uh, we have to win, and and that should inspire us and not make us play with any fear. Thank you, Phil. Good luck Tuesday. Thanks. We'll, Thanks, we'll go to Andrea, then Javier. Good night, Phil. I wanted to ask you two quick, quick ones. Uh, can you give us an update on Damian Lowe? And is he going to be ready for Tuesday or for the rest, or he's out for the rest of the season? And uh, can you talk a little bit about how it, did it affect you being 10 days without playing? And if you think that that played a role on the display today? Thanks. Well, uh, Lowe, and uh, Coco probably not going to be with us uh, this week, uh, definitely this week. And then we're going to the international break. So uh, we're probably not going to be with them this week uh, or probably Leo. Probably Leo's probably going to, going to be too soon for Leo on Tuesday. He's been out for six weeks. So that's touch and go. That's touch and go. And uh, sorry, what, what was the final bit? Break of the 10 day. The, the 10 day break was, was, uh, we didn't ask for the 10 day, 10 day break. We didn't want the 10 day break. The, the 10 day break was, was enforced by the MLS. So it's probably a question that you, you asked them why our game last week was canceled. So I can't say, can't say anything other than that. We would have liked to have played against Orlando last weekend. That was when the fixture was announced to be, uh, there was no reason why it shouldn't have been last weekend. Uh, but, but like I say, I, I'm, I'm not privy to why it was canceled. So, uh, uh, that was disappointing. It meant we had three away games and 10 days in between games, but it allowed us to rest and recover. So, so freshness was, was something that we wanted to take advantage of. Javier? Good evening, Phil. Uh, every yeah. game coming up now is a playoff game, basically. Um, you, know, you, you, need, you need points. Uh, do you have a set group of players that you want to use, or are you going to continue to, to move and look for freshness for each game, or do you have your core players are the ones you depend on to get you through this? I think we've got a core group of players that have been playing most games. So, yeah, there's a core group of players. But I think for Tuesday, I think I think we've got to look for freshness. Uh, we've got to look for freshness in terms of sort of like recovering from tonight. Uh, Columbus had an extra day's recovery. So we've got to make sure we have, you know, we get home at 3, 4 in the morning. We've got to train them tomorrow. And then it's match day minus one again. So the, the recovery is very, very short. And at this stage of the season, freshness is more important than any kind of training. So selection will be based on freshness, how they feel, uh, how, how mentally they are. Uh, but this team, this team have, have never, ever, ever let us down yet this season. And this team have got fight in them. This team are, are together. And, uh, and now, now what I've said to them is, is that, that really with the defeat tonight, the pressure goes off us because we're now, we're now probably chasing and it's probably better off being chasing sort of like in terms of pressure and expectation. Uh, we'd love to be in, in, the, in the playoff positions, but now we've got, we've got to take the shackles off. We've got to release all fear. We've got to just go for every single minute of every game. And we've got to win games of football. We've got to win the next two. And that, and that will put us back where we want to be. But it, it's not easy at this stage of the season. And, and, and I always think that 
you don't want it to be easy. He, it's, it's the hard that makes it so good. It's the hard that makes it so exciting. It's the hard that when you do succeed, makes it special. And, and I, want to, I want this season to be special for this group of players because I think they deserve it. Last question, Michelle. Uh, Phil, when you're talking about freshness for Tuesday, um, can you talk about the subs today? Was there anybody today that stood out to you, Ari or Joven or Bryce, that you think um, maybe should have played more or that you might play more on Tuesday? Well, I, 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 energy? Thought, I thought all three, I thought all three impacted the game. I thought Bryce Duke was, was really good when he came on and, uh, and the kids really unlucky not to be playing. Uh, so he's definitely in my plans. Ari and Joven are in my plans. Victor Joe is in my plans. And, uh, you know, you're looking at Emerson Rodriguez. He's fresh as well and, and, and chomping. So uh, we've got to pick the right team. Uh, Mabika as well, you could probably add to that. You, we've got to pick the right team. We've got enough quality. There's no excuses. Tonight wasn't good enough, but Tuesday night will be. Thanks, Thank guys. You, coach.